Hmm. Uh, okay. Really? Did I need to do another video? Once you know how to do this one, you should know how to do this one. Ready? Let's first of all write down somewhere that sine of w plus t ends up equaling 56 over 65. Put my bracket in there, otherwise that is untrue. Okay, so there is my answer that I got from A. I'm going to need it for B because I want to show that that's bigger. Eraser. Okay, i got to pause this. Okay, so where were we? Uh, all right, we're solving the cos of w minus t equals. Okay, so when I see this thing, I'm going to use my identity again. This one, cos is cos cos, so it's cos w cos t. It's the opposite sign of what's in here with the cos identity, so it's a plus, and it's sine sine next, sine w sine t. The order of the W and T never change. I'm using small case T's, so sue me. Yeah, get over it. But don't do that on your test because your teacher might take a mark off, but you can't take a mark off of me. You can just shut up. Okay, so cos W, cos T. Um, where are we at? All right, cos W. So four over five, just subbing these values in. Cos of T is 12 over 13. Pull. Whoa, I don't need that bracket. Who put that bracket there? I'm getting an eraser. Do, 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 do. Okay, so plus, oh, I erased that. Whoops. Uh, okay, so plus uh, sine w, which is 3 over 5. Good thing I can read my own writing. Times sine of t, which is 5 over 13. Okay, now that equals pausing. Okay, so that multiplies to that. These two multiply to that. The uh, Add the tops because the denominators are already the same. So is 63 over 65. So therefore, uh, 63 over 65 is greater than 6, 56 over 65. So cos w minus t is greater than sine w plus t. Dun, da, da, da. Done. OK, so what did we do with all this stuff? First of all, we remember that this expands so that I can actually do exact answers. That is always going to happen when I get these suckers. We're going to expand it so we can do exact answers. Now, the exact answers that we do here are different than all those root 3 over 2 things. These exact answers were given. So when they give me an x and a y and an r and an x and an r, when they give me these, I just draw a picture, calculate all the sine, cos, and tans. I probably didn't need the tan, but I'm going to calculate it anyways. And then I plug them back in after I use the identity, multiply them out, and get an answer. Good for that? That's how you do that question. You got any questions? Put them on the comment page.